A Kentucky case is getting international attention. A girl in the back of a car on the interstate signaling another driver to call 911. Turns out the alleged kidnap victim learned the signal on TikTok. Well, that suspect was in court this morning. And as LEX 18's Conroy Deluche reports, the Canadian rescue group that came up with the signal says the response has been overwhelming. It's tonight's big story at six. You can sit over there, sir. James Brick sat silently inside a Laurel County courtroom this morning as a detective recounted the events from last Thursday. Police say that a good Samaritan called 911 saying that they saw the teen giving a signal for help as the car she was in drove down I-75. The caller stayed on the phone with dispatchers until deputies could catch up to the car. The female continued to give us hand gestures and uh, in an attempt to make us see her, I guess is the best way to put it. After a traffic stop, both the 16 year old and the suspect were taken to the sheriff's office for interviews. She told me she was scared. She was physically shaking, uh, crying. Once we got them separated, she was she was terrified. Before court today, Brick was already facing charges of unlawful imprisonment and possession of a matter of a sexual performance by a minor. Today, that unlawful imprisonment charge was upgraded to kidnapping. She said that he told her that if she tried to get away from him or run away from him, that he would kill her animals, her pet dog, and also himself in front of her. It's a really powerful story and such an important example of how a tool like this can be really useful. Suzanne Duncan with the Canadian Women's Foundation says that the Signal for Help campaign was launched in April 2020 in anticipation of a spike in gender-based violence due to the lockdown. It's just like this, like making a number four, but you bring your fingers over your thumb. It spread to the popular app TikTok, which is where the teen saw it. Hey, now the group is hearing from people that. all over the world about this hand signal. Um, but we've never expected a, a situation like this with a young woman in a car. That was very clever and resourceful of her to uh, to think to use this. And it's such a, you know, such a relief that there were other uh, drivers who were able to recognize this and knew what to do. It appears the hand gesture and the power of social media already saved one life, the North Carolina teen who has been safely reunited with her family. Conroy Deluche, LEX 18 News. The judge raising Brick's bond to $50,000 today and his case waived to a grand jury. The Canadian Women's Foundation is working on a signal response guide with examples of different signs and signals.